guys and welcome to another episode of Frankie's World. Now, on today's episode, I had a couple members ask me some questions about uh, lighting, about how I hook up my lights to a 12 volt system and everything too. So I figured I'd make this video to kind of uh, better explain, you know, get more detail on, on how it's done. Now, to be honest, Hooking up a 12 volt system is actually very, very simple. I mean, there's really nothing to it. Um, let's say for instance, okay, if you have ever hooked up a stereo to a, I'm sorry, if you've ever hooked up like a speaker to a stereo, I mean, it's pretty much like the same concept. You have your, your speaker and then you've got two wires coming out of there, red and black. You've got your, your red as your positive, your black as your negative. And then those hook up to the positive and negative on the back of your receiver, which are usually colored red and black. So you've got positive to positive and then negative to negative. Once those are connected, then you've got sound. Well, on lighting, it is no different at all too. Um, the Coleman EX and the BT series both have, they, they both come with this headlight right here too that are wired to the engine. Which I mean, which is, is cool because I mean, when you're you're running your engine, your light turns on and everything too. However, the downfall that I see in that is because um, you're only getting the brightness of your light when you're you're holding your throttle down all the way to, and as you as you roll off your throttle, the light starts to dim and everything too. So, and from what I've heard, you can't use an LED light as well which i mean kind of makes sense because a lot of led lights aren't dimmable or anything so it needs that constant uh voltage or wattage to, to to get that light to turn on so you know in this case you can just use a normal bulb however for me since i, I switched engines um i don't have that option on this one unless i upgrade my flywheel and everything um, i decided i wanted to go with the 12 volt system because i wanted to use led lights and on top of that you get that constant connection to the lights so Regardless if the engine's on or off or if you're accelerating or not, your power is going to stay, you know, consistent. Now, there's also another setup out there too, which um, is the uh, the 12 volt system with the rectifier system as well. Now, that is uh, the way I would go if you're going to do a lot of night riding and you're going to use your lights a lot. That I think that's a cool setup because it's kind of like a motorcycle or like a car. I mean, you um, you have your power running to you know, you've got your 12 volt battery running your power and you also have the uh, rectifier and everything hooked up through the engine. So it's charging your battery as well. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. I went with this setup because this works best for me. I don't do a lot of night riding. I mean, I ride maybe 20 to 30 minutes at a time. Um, I get, I want to say maybe about six, seven rides in. And then when I start seeing my lights starting to, to get at like 50% of their brightness, I just plug in the battery charge it up and then I'm good to go for, you know, for, for a little while and everything too. So, and basically this is the same thing too, like what I explained with the, the, you know, with the speaker hooked up through the stereo, the, uh, this is no different at all too. You have your bulb with the, you, you got two wires, you have your positive and your negative, not necessarily red and black like you do with the speaker, but you have your two wires and one's positive, one's negative. All those do is connect directly to the battery to the positive terminal and the negative terminal terminal and boom and then you've got and, you, and you've got light now that would be the simplest way to do this um you know just hook up hook up your light positive and negative to positive and negative on the on the battery and then and your light turns on you don't have to necessarily use the negative terminal you can also hook up the negative to a ground to the chassis on your frame that's another way too but i've always just um used I've always connected to the negative terminal because it's right there next to the positive. So I figure, hey, why not? You know, I mean, what the heck? I mean, might as well do it that way. Now, in my setup, it's it throws it off a little bit. It's it's a little different because I have mine hooked up through a uh, switch right here too. So um, if you don't have the switch, what you can do is every time you want to ride, you plug your wires into your battery and then boom, you got light. And then when you're done riding, just unplug it from the battery and then your light turns off. I didn't want to do all that. I've got all mine set up through this switch right here. So basically all I got to do is flip on the switch and my light turns on and everything too. So um, I'm going to bring the camera over here and kind of show you guys 
a little, a little more with what I'm talking about here. So basically my tail light is underneath here. So I've got positive and negative wires running underneath the fender. They go out from here, under there, connected, and then they go inside this compartment here. Same with the headlight. Headlight's got two wires that go down into there and then go into this compartment as well too. And like I said, I've got my switch right here. So as soon as I turn on the switch, there you go. It sends juice to it and now I've got light. Now it's off, now it's on. Very simple and I've showed you guys this before. This is the power supply that I'm using. It is a 12 volt battery, seven amp. This was really cheap. I got this for, on eBay for, I want to say maybe $15, probably less than that. And I bought a little uh, wall outlet charger for it too. So when it dies, I just plug it in and we're good to go. So I know it's, I've got a ton of wiring in there. You probably really can't see anything in there, but I did make a little diagram. So as I'm showing you the diagram, as you can see here on this first one, this one is showing the way the wiring looks without a switch. Very simple, very basic. You have your, your light bulb, then you've got your 12 volt battery, and you've got your two wires, your positive and your negative. Once these make a connection to the battery, the juice flows through and then boom, your light is turned on. Simple as that. Now, this is the uh, next one. This is a diagram that I had made using a switch. So with the switch, instead of having your positive and negative from your bulb going directly to your battery, what it is, is you're gonna have your, um, the switch has, it's got, it's got three terminals behind it. It's got two positives and then one negative. It's got a positive on the top, positive on the bottom, and then there's a negative in the middle. So what it is, is your, your, um, your, bul your bulb, the positive of the bulb is going to go to the positive of the switch and then the negative of the bulb goes to the negative of the switch and then on the switch the negative of the switch goes to the negative of the battery and then the second positive on the switch will go to the positive terminal in the battery so with all this being said the positive that goes from the bulb to the battery really doesn't go to the bulb to the battery it goes from the bulb to the switch now, when the switch is in the off position, it's not letting the, the uh, you know, the terminals, the two positive terminals connect. So it's leaving that part disconnected because the switch is connected to the positive. Once we turn the switch on, the two positives meet and then the juice can flow through from that, from the switch onto the battery and then your light turns on. And that's basically pretty much how it runs. And what you want to remember too is when you do, if you happen to do this setup like the way I have it, um, you want to make sure you at least use the same gauge wire that came with your lights. Because um, if you use something too small, if you go with a you know a thinner wire, the wire will most likely start getting really hot and everything too. So um, I've never had any issues. I mean, I mean, I've been doing this type of stuff since high school. Uh, I'm, I'm not a professional by any way. I'm not an electrician at all. This is just something that I've done through experience and it's um, worked for me. One thing you do want to avoid is that positive and negative, do not let them touch at all too. You do that, you're going to see some fireworks. You, you, you might possibly catch a fire or if you're touching the wire while that happens, you can burn your finger because I have done that before too. So please be very careful when you do this as well. What I would do is just, is just work one thing with another. Just, you know, as you're doing all your positives, just put a cap or something on your negative wire so that it can't touch anything. And once your positives are all connected and then you know, then you can hook up your other one and then, you know, everything is good. Now also keep in mind that usually the three-way switches are kind of different. You can use any three-way switch. Just remember that when you do get a three-way switch, to, it should come with documentation to let you know how it wires up. Like, like on mine, I, I got a diagram on and it shows which color wire goes to what. So that's how I know what positive goes to it because there's two positives I know which one goes to what and what the negative goes to so once you get that all figured out then I mean then you're good so um I hope this was helpful for you guys um if you uh, if you have any any questions or anything go ahead and leave something below in the comments I will try to 
help you out and answer those questions to the best of my abilities. Um, if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. Please hit that bell button if you want to get notified anytime I upload a new video. So until then, I will see you guys on the next one. I thank you all for your support very much, and I will see you guys later. So have a good one and be safe out there.